Hello, the purpose of this video is to show people how to locate the CMN online application. So to get started, you're going to want to go to our website at www.menominee.edu. And from there, it's going to bring you to this main page that you see here. From here, it's basically three clicks to kind of get you into the application. However, there's some information you're going to want to pay close attention to beforehand. So to get started again, we're gonna go ahead and click apply here in the corner of the screen. Under admissions information, we're gonna go ahead and click apply today. And then you'll see here, it brings us to this application for admissions page. On this page is some really important information as it relates to the type of application you're gonna be filling out. So if you're a degree seeking student um, who has never before enrolled in college, you're gonna to wanna to select degree seeking application. If you're a returning student, and you stopped out for a year or more but did not enroll into another college, you're gonna select the returning student application. Non-degree applications are for those interested in taking just one course or maybe obtaining a certificate from the college. Transfer students have an application as well. And this is, you're gonna fill this out if you've been enrolled in another post-secondary institution. And the high school application is for those who are currently attending high school and wanna participate in our Learn and Earn or Youth Options Program. Okay, so keep those in mind because they're gonna help you choose what application fits you best. So after reading that, we're gonna go ahead and click there, which is gonna open up another screen. From this screen, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a full screen. You'll see those are those five applications that we just looked at the details of. So which one fits you is depending on your student status. I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, for this example, just the top one, the degree seeking, and hit continue. And now it's actually gonna bring us into the application here. You see there's one of five pages, goes kind of quick. Um, however, some important things to pay attention to are, first of all, all the areas that are highlighted yellow, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have some information filled into that, those fields. If you don't, once you try to go to the next page, the application is gonna uh, pop up a dialog box that says, hey, you missed a field. Um, also, what you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is this information, these blurbs on the side of some of the, the fields that specify how they want the data input into that given field. For example, your social security number, they want it, that number, but they don't want any dashes included, right? Another example is uh, the date of birth. They want two days, two digits for the month, two digits for the day, four digits for the year. So if you're thinking about January, you're gonna to wanna to put 01, right? Um, and you'll notice there, there's uh, also these question mark boxes located to the, the fields. If you hover over these, not click on them, if you hover over them, they give you information as to what they're specifically asking for in that field. So if you are, have any questions or if you're wondering what you should put in there, hover over that and a little box will appear as you see there. Once you get to the last part of the application, there's going to be a page that looks very similar to this, and it's gonna give you options for uploading some of your important admission documents. On this page, you have the ability to upload an AccuPlacer score, and you're gonna to wanna to do this if you've taken an AccuPlacer with, within three years of the date you're submitting this application. So you can save that to a computer or maybe a phone or a tablet, and then upload that file directly into the application before you submit. Helps things go faster when you upload uh, admission documents to the application. And same thing with your tribal ID or your CIB information. For students who are claiming Native American status, they have to submit a copy of their tribal ID or some documentation showcasing that they're indeed a member of a federally recognized tribe. Again, you can save that to a phone or a computer. And while you're doing this application, just upload it straight to the application. Um, upon uploading those needed documents, you're gonna wanna hit submit at the bottom here. And what's gonna happen next is within a few days, an admissions uh, staff member, maybe myself or one of the other uh, staff members uh, in the Welcome Center, will reach out to you via email and phone to update you on your admission status and the steps going forward. Please, if you have any questions about this process, you can always call us um, at 715-799-5600. My extension is 3065. Um, or you can ask for Lewis Ortiz. Again, that phone number is 715-799-5600. Thank you for your time. I hope this video helped and I hope to hear from you soon.
have a good day.